This is WCRD Chicago, 88.3 FM. And we have with us at WCRD via Zoom, Mariana Buchwald. She is the curator of International Art Adventures and is a dancer, artist, a huge supporter of the arts. Welcome, Mariana. Hello, hi, good afternoon, everybody. Hi, how are you, Miss Wizard? How are you, Miss Wizard? <laughs> very, very well. Always so good to uh, have you here on Wizard because uh, you are such a patron and uh, of the arts and, and, and an artist yourself. Tell us a little bit about, uh, uh, about uh, how you came to be so fascinated uh, by the arts and so involved. Well, I come from an uh, artist family from Germany. My father, his name is uh, Hans Ulrich Buchwald, and my mother's name is Hella Buchwald. I immigrated to the United States in 1983, uh, and I've been ever since then. I've been traveling back and forth between uh, Chicago and Hanover uh, to create an international art symposium, and uh, I'm so happy that uh, I wanted to. Uh, tell you guys that this coming uh, Friday and Saturday we're doing a special performance uh, with uh, a beautiful group of uh, multi-talented artists and performers at the Steppenwolf Theater uh, organized by Kay Razen who actually came with us in German to Germany. Mm -hmm. And uh, tell us a little bit about this show. So yeah, the show is uh, was curated by Kay Rosen. Uh, it is called Worlds End, Worlds Begin. And it is uh, like a big perform performance uh, event with, uh, with several groups and individual and uh, solo artists and performers. Uh, it starts at 8 p.m. Uh, the address is 1700 North Halstead at the Steppenwolf Theater. And uh, tickets, uh, suggested donation is about $20. Um, so I'm part of the uh, evening event with our, our wonderful sh small group of performance artists and masked dancers. And uh, our group is called, the name of it is Chicago Mask Ensemble. How um, often does the Chicago Mask Ensemble perform? Well, we do, uh, we primarily perform like once or twice a year in Chicago. Mm -hmm. And in Germany in the summertime, I, um, I work with my father's masks as well. And the name of our group in Chicago, in, in Hanover is the name of it is Scharnier Theater Hannover, uh, which is uh, translated uh, to the theater of foldable masks. Um, Scharnier, that means hinges. Mm -hmm. And my father, when we grew up as children, created uh, these huge masks that were able to be folded together. So mm -hmm. um, that's the, the fascinating thing about the, the mask that my father invented. I actually have an example. I can show it to you when we have a moment. Oh, you can show it to us now, if you like. Okay. All right. So in the upcoming event, this coming Friday and Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, we are going to perform a piece that uh, I started working on last year in Germany. It's called, the title of it is The Islands of Life, which is uh, in connection to themes that are happening in our world today. People are looking for islands of hope, islands of life, islands of uh, happiness, because people in, you know, in our modern world are traveling, they're, uh, you know, refugees are having to escape from traumatized countries. They're looking for a new island of life to, uh, to, to just survive. In. So that's the overall title. And um, it, as part of our performance, we are performing a, a piece where children are uh, traveling across the ocean, then they, they find two islands. Uh, when they're in the ocean, this character appears. What do you think this is? This is the... Um, the fish. 
Yes. <laughs> it's huge, but it's a uh, very uh, uh. Tell us a little bit about the uh your your father. He uh he invented that this kind of hinged mask so that uh, it could open and so that uh, it could fit onto the actor. Exactly. So he he created um body size um you know, uh, body sculptural uh, masks that can be worn uh, on top of your head, or, but but they some of them actually cover the whole body. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, primarily, the, you know, this coming Friday and Saturday, we're going to have all these like creatures that live in these islands that uh, are, are being discovered by the children. So our cast uh, this time, uh, this coming Saturday and Friday, uh, consists of uh, a group of uh, a mixture of pro professional dancers, but also uh, two mothers with their daughters, or, and one was a granddaughter, who are the children who are traveling across the ocean and find all these creatures. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, you, uh, the the mask. Uh, what kind of uh, materials? Uh, the the metal part. What is that? Uh, is your was your uh, father a kind of a metal worker as well, or he bought wire and uh, bent it to the correct shape? Yes, yeah, he uh, he, we have this really great, um, wonderful wire that can be uh, shaped in all different uh, directions, and he stretched different types of uh, fabrics across the wire structure. Mm -hmm. And then he sewed the uh, the fabrics onto the wire. Mm -hmm. So he bends them in all different shapes. And then he sews on the fabric. Sometimes the fabric consists of burlap. It can consist of uh, polyester. It can consist of silk, uh, you know, transparent screen material, material so you can see through it, mm -hmm. um, stretchable fabrics. Uh, they all come different colors and shapes and sizes. Uh, so it's very wonderful and colorful. Mm -hmm. uh, do you know when your father made the mask, uh, was he uh, concentrating on the, the, the look of the fabric? Uh, uh, and how much of it was also uh, uh, looking for the durability of the fa uh, fabric? For instance, burlap uh, lasts a long time. But um, you know, some of the masks could get frayed or or come loose from the wire frame. So was he trying to like find uh, fabrics that would uh, uh, hold up longer? Well, the fabrics are, are pretty, uh, they are pretty durable. Mm -hmm. uh, what is loosening up is, uh, you know, he uses a combination of uh, sewing the fabric onto the wire structure and a wonderful type of tape. And the tape comes loose over time. So uh, mm. I practically, you know, I was, you know, uh, preparing the mask for our coming up performance. Mm. I was uh, again taping some of the wires together that they are really nice and strong again. Uh, sometimes we add things or we redecorate some of the masks mm. and uh, repair them and restore them mm. and add accessories, embellish the masks. That tape is interesting. Uh, is it uh, like Velcro or what kind of tape that is uh, appropriate for making masks? Yeah, it's a fascinating tape that I, I was able to purchase in Germany. Now, oh. here in, in the United States, it's like, a, I use the, uh, it's it's like, a, you know, telephone tape, you know, the black tape. Electrical? Uh, Are you talking electrical about? Electrical tape. Yeah, that's, a, that's really great. Uh -huh. Okay. And... Um, uh, uh, colors. Um, uh, do you uh, when you, when your father made those masks? Uh, uh, did you kind of tag along and watch? All the time, he would. Uh, he 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 developed a, a workshop with uh, four hundred masks mm -hmm. under a huge elementary school building, and he would sit there and you know he would employ tailors, seamstresses, to work on uh, you know sewing up the masks. <laughs> So uh, it's really wonderful to see, you know, how, uh, the details of masks, how they are being made. For instance, this fish, the wonderful thing about his inventions is 
like the fish can move its fins. Mm -hmm. So you see the fish is moving its fins. Mm -hmm. Uh, some of the you know things that created have mov movable parts. If the jaws are opening and closing, or the, the eyes are moving, things like that. So he was he was really a great inventor, and um, you know, and, and of course, lighting has a lot a lot of things to do with our performance. The great thing in the, uh, the upcoming performance, we're going to be inside of a theater with uh, you know stage lighting, and we have a beautiful sound uh, scapes by a, a live a musician and composer, Tiana Robinson. And uh, so it, our, our piece is only, we're gonna do a short excerpt of, a, of the huge, uh, pro, you know, big piece because it's part of a multi-dimensional uh, performance event in the evening, which features many wonderful performers along with Shalaka Kulkani, Ellen Turner, uh, Phaedra and her dance company of belly dancers. Uh, so the overall title, uh, Worlds End, Worlds Begin, there's like two sections to in it. You know, in the, in the very part, first part, you have everything that's happening at the end of the world. And then after the, uh, the break, everything that's, you know, new and uh, just like winter and spring. Like right now, when you look out the window, you see, you know, the, the spring is coming back. Uh, you see, you know, little birds are flying around. The creatures are coming out. The sun is coming out. Today is such a beautiful day, uh, you know, today, February. <laughs> and also, uh, I saw the daffodils and the crocuses. Uh, they're uh, sprouting up out of the ground today. Exactly. So, uh the theme is so fascinating, you know, worlds end, worlds begin. Um, so I'm very excited about to be part of this program by Kao Razen. And mm -hmm. Kao Razen is, you know, is an amazing uh, spoken word artist. He will be performing there uh, during that evening as well. And uh, Christopher Pricing, who is a, uh, a sound artist uh, who founded Non-Op, uh, a musical uh you know, a group of um, people who create these wonderful instruments and things that K.O. Razen is part of as well. K.O. Razen right now, he has lots of performances going on at this time and has become a, a wonderful uh, support of the arts here in Chicago. And he uh, he really en encourages, uh, you know, the collaboration and the individual performance projects that people develop here in Chicago. How did uh, you and K.O. Razen come to work together? How did you meet? Well, we met by a coincident, uh, coincidence. I was uh, on my way from the north side to the west side, and I had I, I had lost my phone. I had to borrow his phone mm. <laughs> to make a phone call. <laughs> and uh, the, the restaurant where we were sitting Kind of rejected me asking them for help, and then he uh, he was so very wonderful and generous to help me out, and I told him about international art adventures, mm -hmm. and uh, so ever since two thousand seventeen, we've been developing these wonderful uh, international uh, art and performance extravaganzas, and uh, with International Art Group Chicago, we're going to have a salon May. I think in the end of May at Alma Art and Interior, where uh, there are many different performance projects are happening along with International Art Adventures and uh, also our sponsoring venues, Alma Art and Interior Gallery. And at the end of May, we're going to have a salon there, an international art salon. Uh, a salon in Europe always in includes not only visual artists, but also poets and musicians and performers to show uh, work in progress. Mm -hmm. So in other words, um, uh, other art galleries, they have the exhibit, they're exhibiting like a gallery, but uh, uh, for salon salons, they are also having other uh, uh, st artistic stimulation as well. Uh, not only what's hanging on the walls, but the uh, 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 um, audio uh, stimulation and uh, uh, other other uh, other things as well, right? Absolutely, right. Is so, there, uh, go ahead. Uh, sometimes, is there even dance? 
Yeah. So the the dancers uh, this coming uh, you know weekend at Steppenwolf Theater, uh, there are several uh, different types of dancers, I believe, coming in. Uh, a group of belly dancers under the direction of Phaedra, and then Shalaka Kulkani. Uh, he, she's an, uh, a, a soloist who uses a lot of Indian dance movements. She, you know, she has a particular dance style, and she did perform with me in Germany for our Charnier Theater production uh, two years ago for Novocento, a big performance piece that we work with, also with masks. She'll be there this coming weekend as well. And also, uh, I, I I was uh, I, I think I wasn't too clear on the question when uh, those salons that you were talking about. Uh, so they also have uh, sometimes spoken word and uh, uh, other other kinds of uh, art in addition to what's hanging on the walls, right? Exactly. Yeah. The uh, the uniqueness of Alma Art and Interior Gallery, which is at thirty six thirty six South uh, Iron Street, um, is that. Um, there are ongoing exhibitions, primarily the uh, galleries open every Sunday from 12 to 5 p.m. under the direction of Kimberly Oliver, mm -hmm. a beautiful venue uh, at 3636 South Iron. And uh, it's, you know, it's presenting these wonderful different things. It presents fashion shows, uh, happenings, you know, right now, uh, a few weeks ago, performance, um, it was a performance happening, also curated by Carol uh, K. Razen. It was fabulous in, in uh, you know, in the middle of February. So uh, yes, um, the wonderful thing about these this particular gallery is that it's not only featuring visual artists, but also dancers, musicians, performance artists, poets, uh, filmmakers, uh, all different types of artists. Mm -hmm. I think one time we visited and then there were artists sitting outside on either side of the door uh, playing instruments and uh, and other performances too at, at the Oliver Gallery. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so um, uh, these uh, these uh, uh, salons happen once a month, right? Uh, but uh, No, no, the, the uh, salons, we, we do them like every uh, two months or something. Every two months, okay. Yes. But the, and then the coming weekend, we have our special event at Steppenwolf Theater, mm -hmm. which is a fabulous theater company. Mm -hmm. And yes. uh, so, uh, you know, please come see the show. It's about 100 minutes long. There is an intermission. It starts at 8 p.m. on March 1st and March 2nd. And uh, it is also uh, children fam fam friendly, too. Uh, kids could be brought along to the Exactly. Theater. Yes. Mm -hmm. it's uh, It's family friendly. So uh, please, you know, uh, you know, uh, the content is, uh, is is elaborate. You have, uh, you know, people who have different cultural backgrounds, like Alan Turner is, uh, he's the son of a good uh, Native American Indian friend of mine, mm -hmm. Ida Lawrence, and he does these amazing performances with, with these beautiful uh, fabrics. He's a, an older dancer, but his, mm -hmm. his movements are striking and beautiful. And then Phaedra, she has a whole group of belly dancers and their brilliant costumes mm -hmm. and their lovely, you know, uh, choreographed pieces where they're harmonized as belly dancers. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. How many, uh, uh, about how many dancers does she have in the group? I have no idea. I, I uh, will see this coming, <laughs> <laughs> this coming Friday uh, must be quite a, a few. Mm -hmm. So there, it's going to be an amazing event, and uh, we are grateful to be part of it. Our group, this Chicago Mask Ensemble, and our our group is more like a family uh, company with the mothers and their children and professional dancers dancing with masks. Mm -hmm. There are a couple of um, uh, core members of the group, right? That uh, uh, perform in most of the most of the performances. Um, or do you? So uh, there is a, the program for this coming weekend uh, is, uh, it consists of uh, uh, various acts. There mm -hmm. are like a number of acts. Some, some performers are doing a solo piece and then uh, a few 
there is like one of there's about two or three ensembles. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I was I, I guess I wasn't too clear. Uh, for the ensemble, for the Chicago Mask Ensemble, do you have a couple of uh, core members, and then you bring on new people as well? Exactly. Uh, so the core group of uh, Chicago Mask Ensemble consists of myself, Mariana, my friend Althea Tima, and uh, Lisa Rommel, who is mm -hmm. a uh, long-term, uh, you know, professional dancer in the dance community. She teaches Qigong. And then uh, we have, uh, you know, Barbara Vinson. She brings in her, uh, she's a wonderful African-American dancer who perform. He, she does primary praise dances in her church. And she is joining us with her daughter, Maya, who's performing with us. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Maureen is a good friend of mine uh, and also a tour guide, like I'm a tour guide myself, uh, who performs with us. And she brings in her daughter, Sabrina. Mm -hmm. And Ronaldo is uh, he's a, a young uh, child educator who comes and performs with us. Mm -hmm. So it's really nice to have this variety of people. And then uh, Miss Wizard is performing on, with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're very excited about the whole ensemble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it will be uh, Miss Wizard's first uh, uh, time performing at the uh, Steppenwolf. Uh, you know, it's uh, with <laughs> with you. That's uh, quite an honor because uh, you know if. Uh, Thank you for asking. Absolutely. We are very excited about the events coming up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when, um, and uh, how, how do you, can you tell, give us a little insight about how, uh, how, how it came together? Was it uh, you initiating or was it Kale Razen? Uh, I know he does a lot of these uh, uh, performances in which he gathers a lot of artists together. Yeah, he's the, uh, Keo Razan is the curator of the evening, of these mm -hmm. two events. Uh, he's the overall curator, but he knows my work with the, the masks. Uh, mm -hmm. When he came to Germany with me, he actually participated in a performance piece. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, uh, uh, it was about a maze. And uh, we performed that big production with lots of masks at the Christ Museum Zieke. And he was uh, an important performer inside of the mask group uh, in the year of 2017. And then we had another performance that we did nearby Berlin with Kale. So he uh, he he sees and he does acknowledge, you know, the importance of our work with mask mask ensembles mm -hmm. in two different countries, and he liked it. And he saw us perform at the Hairpin Art Center after we had returned uh, 2019 mm -hmm. uh, as part of a, a you know art show with Any Square at the Hairpin Art mm -hmm. Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he he's pretty much aware of all the great mass performances that are going on with myself. So he did invite us to participate in this particular evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he has so many connections with the different venues and, and bringing all this uh, all these artists together. It, will he be the master of uh, ceremonies that night as well? Absolutely. He will be the main moderator and uh, MC, and uh, he has a great command, and he's very he's a great organizer of uh, helping the artists, including them, helping them to work together uh, and overseeing the whole event that he's orchestrating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he will be performing too, correct? He will be performing too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mariana Buchwald, thank you so much for joining us on WCRD Chicago 88.3 FM. And again, uh, uh, give us some uh, details for our listeners that tuned in a, a, a little bit later about how they could uh, attend this, uh, this uh, performance and again, the name of the performance and how they could find more information. Absolutely. Um... Yeah, everybody, please, this coming uh, weekend, March 1st, March 2nd, at the Steppenwald Theater, uh, 1700 North Halstead. Uh, please attend our beautiful uh, performance event with K. Razen, World's End, World's Begin, uh, and, and, and enjoy our you know wonderful multitude of performances. And the way to uh, find out about it pr practically at Eventbrite or uh, on the you know internet, and you can purchase your tickets there as well, or directly via the Steppenwolf uh, website. And uh, if uh, the 
public comes to the door and they will be able to uh, purchase tickets at the door as well. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mariana. I'll see you again soon and good luck with the performance of the Chicago Mask Ensemble at, at World's End, World's Begin. Thank you very much, Ms. Wizard. Thank you. Thank you.